Okay, here we go. Here is our first example of using the quadratic formula. So I like to find the discriminant first and then give the number of solutions, actually finding them, okay? So remember the formula says you can't do anything until it's equal to zero. So this first one actually requires a little bit of rewrite. I can't do anything until it's equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to add five, add five, two x squared minus a three x plus five equals zero. Okay, now I can do the formula. Okay, the a value is two, b value is negative three, and then the c value is five. So right away I'm going to do the discriminant. So I'm going to do b squared minus four times a times c. So here we go, negative three squared minus four times a times c. That's it. Write it out. It doesn't take very long whatsoever. Let me get away from that error. Let me do something actually right here. Bracket, negative three, close the bracket, square it, minus four, bracket two, close the bracket, new bracket three, excuse me, five, what am I talking about? There we go. My discriminant is negative 31. Hmm. Negative 3 minus 4. Oh, so negative 31. So if I were to continue, I would probably have an error show up because I can't have a negative square root. Now I'm going to go ahead and write out the rest of the formula. Okay, It would be negative b. Okay, So it's negative b plus and minus the square root of all that noise. What's that noise? It's this noise. Okay, So a negative negative 3 would be a positive 3 plus and minus the square root of negative 31 all over two times a, so a four. So I kind of skip all those steps. So again, this is the negative b, okay? But again, if it's a negative negative, it's positive. And then two times a, I just write it as a four. So I kind of skip that, okay? Um, side note, I noticed this. Here's the quadratic formula. Here's the vertex finder. Here's the discriminant. Interesting, vertex finder negative b and a 2a. And then discriminant is this part, and then together, somehow, they magically made the quadratic formula. I just thought that was interesting, okay? Which is nice is the discriminant's the only new part. The old part is, we've done that before, negative b over 2a. So these two pieces, we've done 8,000 billion times by now. So that shouldn't, be, that shouldn't be a problem. Now again, this would be the rest of it written out, but I could have stopped right here. Whoa, 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 my discriminant was negative. There is nothing I can do because I can't even do that. I can't even do a square root of negative 31. But I still wanted to show you what the next step would be written out. Okay, so this is actually kind of a nice one. Okay, so as you progress, you will be able to stop here. So check the discriminant first to see if you even need to do anything. Okay, and if you don't, you can stop. But I still wanted to show you the next step. So let's do another one. Boom. Okay, kind of getting uh, really. Uh, a lot of variety here with the examples, the exact same situation. We're gonna have a six x squared minus a five x minus a seven equaling a zero. There we go. Okay, a value is six, b value is negative five, c value is negative seven. Positives and negatives matter, friends. Positives and negatives matter. Okay, first thing, let's check the discriminant to see if we even need to do anything. Take your sweet time, write it out. I even do this sometimes. Okay, now I'm just dropping in the numbers. Okay, take five extra seconds, write it out, drop the numbers in the right place with the negatives, with the brackets, and everything's gonna be okay. Again, I'm testing your patience. The quadratic formula, not only am I testing it, but the quadratic formula itself, it tests your patience more than your intelligence. Take your time. You don't even need to think. Just follow the rules. Best thing in the world. Not even having to think about it. Boom, what do we got? 193. Ooh, that's positive. Okay. Equals 193. My discriminant is positive. Oh, no. What do I have to do? i got to find two solutions. Okay. So let's finish off the formula. A negative B is going to be a positive 5. So remember the negative B part of the equation, so a negative, negative five would be a five, plus and minus the square root of 193. I already found it. Remember the discriminant is the worst part of the equation. I already found it, it's 193. All of that divided by two times A. So 
So there's the 2A. I already found it. Okay. So your ability to do the mental math of the negative B and the 2A should be a skill that you can acquire pretty quickly. So from here, there's two ways. Either you can estimate the square root from here or you can split it because you either do plus and minus. So I'm going to go ahead and split it. I'm going to go 5 plus the square root of 193 divided by 12. There's going to be one of my answers. Remember I said it's positive, there's going to be two. What do you mean there's going to be two? Oh, I actually need to break down that plus and minus into two separate math equations. Yes, sorry, expressions. Minus square root of 193. I realize I didn't give myself a ton of room on these notes. Guess what? Find some scratch paper and you will be fine. Okay, so let me show you the number one mistake people make when they get right at the end of these. Okay, you ready? Watch this. Okay, I've split it. I'm almost there. I'm going to go 5 plus the square root of 193. Okay, and then I'm going to divide by 12. <sighs> Order of operations, students. Your calculator would do this division and then add 5 to it. Ooh, careful, don't do that. Okay, if you want to force the calculator into doing it right, you would go like this. Okay, force it. Oh, my calculator is super smart. I need to go over. Nope, go away. I need to go over and close the bracket. Ah, there we go. If you have a super smart calculator, be careful. Add that. Remember, that's a big fraction bar. Add that and then divide by 12. Hey, there's one of my answers. So I'm going to say, ah, let's go nearest hundredth. So I'm going to say about 1.57. Yeah, the four would not round it up. So you're going to be about 1.57. Seven, okay. Now, <laughs> another mistake I see students make all the time is, oh, okay, so this was the answer when I did a plus. So if I just make it a negative, that'd be my other one. No, 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 no. Don't just take the plus result and then just make it negative. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. You physically have to type it in again. So take your time. Type it out, and everything will be okay. See how slow and smooth I'm doing this? I'm going to make sure I do it right. There we go. Slow is smooth, and smooth is accurate, and accurate saves you time. Okay? So this one's going to be about negative 0 0.74. Okay? Use a squiggly equal sign when you approximate these because you're going to get a lot of approximations. Very rarely in life life's quadratic equations are you going to get perfect answers you found that out with some of your gravity functions with uh, seconds things are in the air and the time it hits the ground and all of those things that's what we're trying to figure out okay so that's it okay so to replay that one where you actually had to do something let's replay it here i started with the discriminant b squared minus 4ac i plugged everything in with brackets don't cut that corner you're gonna mess it up Plug everything with brackets, I get 193. Darn it, it's positive. I actually have to do something. Negative B plus and minus the square root of the discriminant all over 2A. I did those mentally. Negative B, negative, negative B, 2 times A. That's the vertex finder. We've done that. Okay. I then decided to split the plus and minus into two separate expressions. And then to make sure I didn't mess it up at the end, I made sure I did the addition, and then I divided by 12. I made sure I did the subtraction, and then I divided by 12. So don't trip at the finish line, students. And also, don't get lazy and just think, oh, this is the plus, so just make that negative. No, don't think that, because that thinking's wrong. Okay? So, you'll be fine. Take your time. I'll probably do one more video after this. We'll do like a gravity function one, okay? So let's do that. We'll do a video right after this with a gravity function. You may not have a lot of room on your a lot of room on your notes, but find a piece of scratch paper and do one more example with me and everything will be okay.